Hi everyone. Are you a mom that is dealing with mom guilt in the sense of over responsibility? I want to talk about that today and how it impacts you as a mom and what you can do about it. So for those of you that are new here to my channel, I just want to welcome you. My name is Sally Harris and I am a mom who walked a difficult road with my own daughter for over 10 years. And while her life spiraled out of control, so did mine. And this topic of over responsibility is one that is very common with the moms that I work with, um, including myself. I think I also dealt with that. Um, I didn't deal with it the correct way, but I went through the same scenarios. Okay. So let's talk about what this does to you as a mom, as a woman, as a human. You know, when we have over responsibility and we carry that, <coughs> it impacts your self-worth. It impacts your really overall well-being, right? It's going to impact every area of your life because it is a heavy load to carry. Mom guilt in and of itself, there's a lot of subcategories when it comes to mom guilt, but you know, overall, it's just a very heavy load and one that you're not meant to carry. And so, um, you know, have, like I said, having the issues of self-worth is something that a lot of moms that come to me, that's something that they're dealing with. And really that is the root we need to get to, right? We need to get to the root of the lack of self-worth. Um, because once you're able to work through that, the rest of the, the rest of the heaviness, the baggage falls off. So what can you do about it? Well, you know, when you are dealing with over responsibility, you're carrying the, the load of your child's responsibility, whether it be, you know, maybe they're not working or they have, um, you know, you're paying for all of their, you know, cell phone and car and all of the things, um, when it's appropriate timing in their life where they should be doing this on their own you're taking on their responsibility maybe for, um, you know, getting, maybe they're living in your home and you're waking them up every day. I mean, just, it can be little things and it can be big things. And so setting boundaries around all of that, around the enabling, around, you know, um, what living at home is going to look like, um, having those expectations and also making sure that you seek support because seeking support whether it be from a therapist or someone like myself who's a mom coach. And you know, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I also see a lot of moms in my membership in my group coaching program that are also dealing with this or have dealt with it. Some of them have gotten past that point and some haven't. But you know what? It really boils down to you being willing to do the work. And because all you can change is you. And when you change, your surroundings change and your relationships change. And so if I would just encourage you to just look in the mirror and figure out what is it that I'm holding on to that is not my responsibility anymore. I've raised this young man or young woman and they are very capable human beings. They are over 18. They, if not taking on their, all of their own stuff, maybe, you know, maybe you're helping them if the situation, you know, is appropriate. You're helping them with certain things, but yet you're giving them some more and more responsibility as time goes on. Because the more responsibility you give them, the less you carry. And you have your own responsibilities in life and you're not meant to carry your adult children's. And so I just want to encourage you with that today. If uh, you and I have never chatted before, you can click the link to the discovery call below. It is not a coaching call. It is a consultation, an opportunity for uh, me to talk with moms who are ready to do the work, who are ready for help. And you may be saying, I'm not ready yet. I just want to watch more videos and, and investigate things and, you know, just do more research. And you, that's absolutely fine. You, you are where you are and that's great. Um, hold on to that link below. If you want, you can reach out to me when you feel that the timing is appropriate. Um, when you feel that you are ready to actually dive in, do the work and start working on yourself because that my friend is what needs to happen in all of these cases and all these scenarios. It's us moms looking in the mirror saying, okay, what do I need to fix? How can I move, you know, one per be 1% better today than I was yesterday and just keep moving forward to the transformation that you want for yourself and your own life. So I hope that helps you today and I'll see you next time.